I'm Silver. I'm the founder and CEO of Spaceit. Spaceit is a comp uh, not so many people know that Estonia is actually a space country. We became one in 2013 when our first satellite SQ-1 was successfully launched. Uh, Spaceit is developing software for satellites. Uh, we are specialized in the development of mission control system. So what is a mission control system? Mission control system is a tool to monitor and control satellite operations. Each and every mission needs one. Its uh, related costs may amount to up to half of the whole mission budget. Uh, how we see the market? Currently, we see there is a gap on the market. There are one-off solutions developed for each mission from scratch. They have limited uh, scalability, supporting only a small number of satellites, and they have uh, narrow radio coverage. All in all, the situation is quite unsatisfactory. So what we do is we offer the mission control system as a scalable cloud service. It has a worldwide ground station communication, simultaneous control of multiple satellites and missions, and also many other essential features. So by choosing us, the customer will get wider radio coverage, higher reliability with lower costs. Uh, regarding the economical side, then the basically the space mission decreases the operational costs over two times, and by doing that, the whole budget approximately 30%. How we see the market? Bank of America actually predicts that there will be three trillion US dollars for the next three decades spent in the space industry. Uh, regarding the next 10 years, then we see that there will be over 6,000 small satellites launched. Uh, what is our business model? We have quite classical P2B SaaS subscription business model. First, we concentrate on the small and medium satellites. Our target is to reach to 90 million euro turnover uh, with 500 subscribed satellites and net margin over 50% by the year 2022. Regarding our background, then we have background uh, from banking and software development over 13 years. We have developed the system already before for the SQ-1. So we have a state-of-the-art solution. We have scalability. We have affordable price. We have wide radio coverage. We have trustworthy and knowledgeable owners. We have increasing market. I am Silver, CEO and founder of Spaceit. Houston, we had a problem. Thank you very much. No more problems, Silver. Thank you. Let's move on to questions. Thank you for the presentation. So who do you sell to today, and how do you acquire the customers? Uh, we have a target list, uh, or there is a target list of customers available. So, so, um, uh, first, we concentrate on the small and medium uh, satellite missions. Uh, and uh, that's our target customer base at the moment. The list of customers are, uh, is available online. I think because this is a space that many people will be unfamiliar with, yes. um, uh, EF, we have a couple of investments in the space, which is very complex. Could you talk through a little bit of what like the space stack looks like? Where do you fit? What other things do people still have to use, even if they're yeah. using SpaceX? I think this is quite important. Yes. So basically, if to take the, if I go back, uh, the mission budget, then you can have a clue from there. So. Uh, you have uh, uh, software development, the operations part. Then you have uh, the hardware, basically uh, the satellite itself. Uh, then you have the launch part, which is very integral and uh, very costly nowadays. And the, most of the constraints are actually lied in the uh, launch part. So if there would be a more launch lo rockets, uh, more uh, possibilities, then there will be more uh, satellites also. Uh, sent to orbit. So, and then you have the communication and the ground stations part. So the ground station is basically meant to receive the uh, signal or the information from space. So what we do is that basically we are like a marketplace of uh, the ground station communication and we outsource the communications from different uh, ground station owners. So if you have like one uh, ground station, then you can have one uh, hour of uh, useful communication time per day. If you have a wide network of ground stations, 
then you might have 24-7 communication time. So if today then launch, uh, and then there's a mission control, which then receives and gets all the data. So you have the operator, you have uh, mission control, uh, you have ground stations, you have satellite, and the launch. Very easily built. So I think one of the real challenges in this sector is there's a relatively small number of buyers, and they have relatively entrenched workflows that, you know, kind of, I know it sounds silly given it's, you know, it sounds so modern, but they go back a very long way. Yes. How, how are you dealing with changing the workflows of like actually quite risk averse, um, fairly traditional organizations? Yeah, so uh, if I now got it, the question right, then uh, basically uh, there are quite small number of players on the market. But uh, the market is increasing approximately 20% per year. And since we are pricing based on the number of satellites which will be launched, so according to the forecasts, the, most of the missions include constellations, approximately 70%. So although the uh, uh, client base is quite limited, then the number of satellites launched by the customers is rather big one. And uh, thank you, Silver. That was Silver from SpaceIt. Thank you very much.